unlike 2D object detection which only localizes the object in the image plane 3D lidar object detection also incorporates the z axis which provides a spatial understanding of the scene with this additional data you can estimate the volume of the object its depth from the sensor as well as the object shape and its pose moreover detections made using 3d lidar point cloud are scale invariant and can be used to predict the object's trajectory this data is key for domains like adas and robotics we have already taken a look at 3d lidar data and its visualization check it out here in this video we are going to take a look at 3d lidar object detection hey there welcome to learn open cv for 3d lidar object detection we employ the kitty 360 dataset in this dataset a 2d image and 3d lidar point clouds are captured together along with the mapping between their points kind of like a key value pair the 2d images are annotated with pedestrian car and cyclist class and because of the 2d to 3d mapping the corresponding 3d lidar annotations are determined now the 2d image as well as the 3d point cloud data in the birds eye view and the object annotations are used as input for the model we are using keypoint feature pyramid network it uses resnet 18 or dla34 backbone with a down sampling factor of 4 its heat map head and object offset head determine the object center while dimension head is used for bounding box coordinates and the z coordinate head for the depth estimation it also calculates the orientation of the object next up we'll see how our object was trained to follow along with me open the learn open cv blog post link from the description click on the download code banner fill in your details and hit enter you'll receive a starter code link in your email download it and let's get started we start by importing our required libraries in the main function we set the seeds and the training config and call the main worker function at the end the main worker initializes the gpu and then set up for distributed training if this was the master node log and track the training process next initialize the model load the weights and enable data parallelization for the model don't forget to create the optimizer then we will create a train and validation data loaders to feed the model input data this for loop is responsible to train our model here we call the function train one epog and log various metrics after each epog our model is saved and the learning rate is updated if these concepts are difficult for you to grasp check out open cv university's terras and kensaflo bootcamp go to opencv.org/university/free/courses to know more the function train one epoch inputs the train data loader the model along with its optimizer and learning rate the current epoch the training configurations and logger settings the various metrics are initialized and the model is set to training mode we loop through each batch to perform a forward pass calculate the loss and then perform back propagation and finally the validate function calculates the validation loss during training the function inputs the validation data loader the model network and training configuration and returns the average loss over the entire validation dataset here are the results so that's all about 3d object detection using lidar data if you like this video check out our entire playlist on adas do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching until next time